Hi, I'm Annie Lush, four times world champion, Olympian and round the world sailor and a competitor in the ocean race. When I'm not at sea, I'm a geography teacher and I'm passionate about supporting children to understand why a healthy ocean is crucial to all life on Earth. The ocean race is an epic adventure in which the world's top sailing teams circumnavigate the planet, powered only by the wind. Nature is at the heart of the race. The ocean is our racetrack and sailors are witnessing its deterioration firsthand. Not only is there less wildlife in our seas, once pristine waters are now littered with plastic. Now more than ever, the world needs to understand that a healthy ocean is crucial for a healthy planet. By increasing ocean literacy, the understanding of our special connection to the ocean, we are more likely to respect our marine world and ultimately to protect it. We can start our ocean literacy journey by checking out the seven most important things we all need to know about the ocean. Covering over 70% of the Earth's surface, the ocean is home to the greatest abundance of life on the planet. We see many marine animals at the surface of the ocean, but there are countless more species under the surface. Earth has one vast ocean, which is the defining feature of our planet. It has many ocean basins, such as the North Pacific, South Pacific, North Atlantic, South Atlantic, Indian, Southern and Arctic. 97% of Earth's water is in the ocean. It is an integral part of the water cycle and is connected to all water systems on the planet, including lakes, rivers and streams. The ocean and life within it shape the features of Earth. Many of the materials and biochemical cycles found on Earth originated in the ocean, like sedimentary, siliceous and carbonate rocks. Sea level changes over time have created and destroyed inland seas and shaped the surface of the land by expansion and contraction of continental shelves and erosion from the force of waves on the coast. The ocean is the largest reservoir for cycling carbon on Earth. Many important organisms in the ocean use carbon to form shells, skeletal parts and coral reefs. The ocean is a major influence on weather and climate, which it moderates by reflecting or absorbing most of the solar radiation reaching Earth. When the ocean absorbs huge amounts of heat from the sun, it then transports warm water to the poles and cold water to the tropics. In the ocean, there is a circulation system called the Global Ocean Conveyor Belt, which moves water throughout all the ocean basins, transporting heat, matter and animals around the planet. Changes in ocean circulation have a large impact on the climate and cause changes in ecosystems. This heat exchange between the atmosphere and ocean can result in regional and global weather phenomena, impacting rain and drought significantly. Examples like El Niño Southern Oscillation and La Niña cause important changes in global weather patterns because they alter the sea surface temperature patterns in the Pacific, one of the biggest ocean basins on the planet. Changes in the ocean atmosphere system can result in changes to the climate that in turn cause further changes to the ocean and atmosphere. These interactions have dramatic physical, chemical, biological, economic and social consequences. The ocean makes Earth habitable. The ocean provides everything we need to survive on Earth, like water, oxygen and nutrients, and regulates the climate. Over half the oxygen we breathe comes from the ocean. Psychoplankton, tiny plant-like organisms that live in the ocean, produce this oxygen. The ocean supports a great diversity of life and ecosystems. There are an abundance of habitats from the shore, sea surface, water column to the deep ocean. Some ecosystems in the deep ocean don't even need sunlight or oxygen to survive. The largest and the smallest living species on the planet, the blue whale and microbes, live in the ocean. 
Most of the major animal groups found on Earth exist exclusively in the ocean, and their diversity is much greater in the ocean than on land. The ocean and humans are linked in so many ways. From the air we breathe, weather we experience, transportation, recreation and economy, to food and medicine and mineral resources. The ocean provides us with so much. Over 100 million tonnes of fish end up on dinner plates each year. That's almost 16% of animal protein consumed globally. Algae and sea plants are commonly used in cooking and provide us with a powerful source of plant-based nutrients. The ocean is a source of inspiration, a place of play, relaxation and sport. Millions of us spend time on the water to connect to nature, keep fit and compete. For others, the ocean is a means of transportation, carrying us to new places and moving important cargo like food and goods that allow us to live the way we do today, with fruit and vegetables, vehicles and electronics from other sides of the planet. It's estimated that by 2030, ocean-based industries will employ more than 40 million people worldwide, mainly in fisheries and tourism. The ocean economy is of particular importance to communities in developing countries, often providing them with their main source of protein or employment. Humans affect the ocean in a number of ways. Laws, regulations and resource management affect what is taken out and put into the ocean and can help protect the ocean. Often, human development and activities lead to pollution, to ocean chemistry changes and physical modifications to beaches, shores and rivers, which impacts habitats and ecosystems in the ocean. Nearly half of marine biodiversity has been reduced by humans in the last 50 years, with industrial overfishing and habitat loss the major causes. A healthy ocean helps to keep humans healthy. Our influence on the ocean must be balanced and help restore the ocean's health. Only 5% of the ocean has been explored. We know more about the surface of Mars than the seafloor. It is estimated that there are still hundreds of thousands of species to be discovered in the ocean. There could be medicines to cure many diseases which are yet to be found. Our survival is dependent on understanding the ocean better and having a more ocean literate society. Being ocean literate helps us to understand our connection to the ocean, appreciate all that the ocean does for us and encourages us to be better ocean stewards. We all need to be part of the solution for the ocean. The ocean race knows it's important that people understand why a healthy ocean is crucial for all life on Earth. Our unique perspective on the marine world provides an exciting backdrop for our learning programmes, enabling us to show younger generations what makes the ocean so amazing. We highlight the threats, including plastic, along with the solutions, and empower people to make changes to help support our seas. Using our primary and secondary school learning programmes will support your learners to become ocean literate, feel connected to the ocean, and understand the responsibility we all have to protect it.